All right, friends, welcome back. Uh, today was FOMO all over the place, trading LXRX, and uh, I'm gonna dive into some of my trades I had today and the progress that I've had throughout uh, this month and show you guys how it's going so far. So today right now, as of right now, I'm sitting up $218, which in relation to what I just went through is Horrible. I was up 700 something earlier today, then up to, you know, being up 500, and now I just whittled it down to 218. So I'm really frustrated about that, and it's mainly due to this stock here today, LXRX. Uh, really just took me for a roller coaster ride, and I should have stayed strong and uh, practiced more discipline and walked away at the right time and I didn't and I paid because of it so uh, let's walk through um, where I'm at on today so here is today's intraday balance and you know I was down let's see I started off went up 218 then down 200 then back to neutral, then down 311, and then back up. So I was all over the place towards the beginning, and it just got me, I guess, flustered and just trading more and more, more because of it. And I had a bunch, ton of trades today. I wish I would have eased back a little bit and just picked better setups for my trades. And so look at this, worked my way up, up to 231 once again, and then dropped it down to negative 41. Worked out of it, a few good trades, and I got all the way up to 745, I guess it was 714 was the high. And um, from there, I just got too aggressive and um, seeing a lot of momentum on LXRX and got FOMO and you know, this is like my third time making this, this video recap because uh, I was up at one point and then decided to hop back in and trade some more and I, and I ended up losing some. So it was stupid on my part, but it happened. So here's where I'm sitting at on the trading vlog right now, the progress. Uh, as you can see, I dug myself a deep, deep hole. And since the beginning of this month, I've been able to just slowly chip away out of it and try to get slowly back to neutral here. I'm down 1430 overall on the trading vlog. Uh, so still got to work towards getting out of it. And while today was green, green's always good. Uh, it was just, once again, too small. I should have been happy with that 714 and walked away. I would be been sitting in a much much better position right now um so yeah this is yeah we got 218 for thursday and let's take a look at the calendar look at this awesome green streak i haven't had a green streak like this before so i want to keep it going and while i you know botched today still i'm still at 218 and that's decent so or at least it's something i shouldn't say it's decent it's really not that great but it's a step in the right direction, I guess. So, yeah, nine days of, of green, which is great. Let's look at some of the FOMO trades I had today. I did trade a DTSS. I'm not gonna show that just cause, well, I think it was better earlier in the day today, yeah and uh, had a few trades in there on the, on its way up. On the back side, it really just faded a whole lot more. So I, you know, faded since 571. I haven't really touched it since I just saw it going downhill. LXRX came up on my radar and this is the one that really got me trading a whole lot more. So this was really great. I really started trading or in the afternoon on this. I had some trades in here, let's see. I saw it was hitting that 755 resistance, and 
I was thinking, uh, this thing, you know, it hit it three different times. Look at these three different candles. Goes one, two, three, right in here. And I was thinking, you know, that's, that's three times. I don't see it breaking it. So stepping out and faded a little bit. And then had this curl right here. And I was like, oh, this could be the chance to break it. So it finally did, which was awesome. So I got a short little trade in. Thank God I sold it because this thing reversed, went south fast. So let me know if you were in this trade going down. Man, that was a rough one. Hope you didn't lose too much on that one. And from there, it just kind of went up and down sideways a bit. And I did, once I, I was watching it intensely and saw this, this curl going back up in this direction, and I was like, ooh, this looks good. So I hopped in there and we just had this awesome push. And I think that's where I worked all the way up to like $714. And from there, it just got me all worked up thinking, man, this thing's got strength. And I just started trading a whole lot more on it and made just a lot of mistakes. I think I did get a piece of this, this, this leg up, which was good. But right in here, it's 850. I'm thinking, man, this thing is ripped so much. I don't think it's going to have a chance to really go so much more. And so I did get a few tiny trades in here. And the problem was I, I saw this, these small little moves up at 850 or just, man, it just doesn't have that strength right now to, to pop out of this. And it, uh, I was thinking, you know, this thing, either it's gonna reverse hard down or if it goes up it's you know it'll rip and so I didn't want to risk anything at this point I just I just thought it was exhausted and take a look at this boom we ripped through 850 and this thing goes up a whole you know whole dollar practically and here I am sitting on the sidelines and just pissed at myself all this I'm getting all this FOMO now because I was like man had I gone in there at my thousand share size you know, I'd be up a thousand plus whatever. And uh, they got me worked up. So in here, this is where I, uh, I let it come back a little bit. And I hopped in here for the trade. And I hopped in too late. I think I got it at like 9, 15, 20 ish. And boom, it faded. You know, so this thing was a roller coaster. And you really just had to had to play your cards right on it. It was difficult. And here we are now. It's faded. So uh, I, I screwed up a couple trades in here, which brought me down all the way down to 218. So I think I'm just going to throw in the towel today. A lot of FOMO, you know, being up 700 to now 218. So, ah, uh, man, that is the the... the that's what trading is all about. It's difficult. And so please let me know in the comments if you guys traded this today, LXRX. And if you got frazzled as well, I, I got so tied up in it and, you know, made some mo good money, but lost a lot of money on it too. So uh, that's how it goes. So let me know if you traded it. Um, That's really where I'm going to leave it today. I don't think I'm gonna trade anymore. Who knows, I might, but uh, I might just have to lock in where I'm at and walk away, so. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to subscribe and like if you are enjoying this this uh, trading vlog right now. Uh, I enjoy it. I think I got a lot of perspective, especially from you guys. Really appreciate all the, all the great comments you guys are putting in and talking about some of your trades as well. I like to really get feedback from you guys to see how other traders are doing and see if they're trading the same same uh, small cap and momentum trades that I'm doing too. So that's it. Take care for now, and we'll see you tomorrow on Friday.